point. So should we listen to Blair, scrap GCSEs and A-levels? Well, who better to speak to than Lord Kenneth Baker, the father of the GCSE? Right. <laughs> Before we had O-levels and CSEs, and your plan was to bring it all together. Yes. I had introduced GCSEs in 1980 because of the need for them. Because in those days, 50% of the students left school at 16 mm -hmm. and they needed a leaving certificate. Just as when I took the predecessor of school certificate in 1950, then 93% left school. Today, 93% stay on. So you don't need a leaving certificate, which is the purpose of having an exam at 16. We're the only country in Europe that has a demanding exam at 16. No other, none, none of the other country have it. They make a changes at 13, 14 and 15 mm -hmm. to, to separate out the academic from the tactical and vocational. And they're very much more successful. It's one of the reasons why they have much lower levels of youth unemployment than we have. And so Tony Blair is now right, but he has changed his view on this. Um, in 2004, he had a proposal to set up a, a phase in education from 14 to 18 with a distinct separate curriculum. Yeah. Very good idea, liked by Blunkett, liked by Adonis. But Tony Blair said, no, it'll destroy A-levels, I must defend them. So eight years later, he changed his mind. I don't quarrel with MPs changing their minds or ex-ministers of their own sort. If, if the arguments have moved on, then reflect what is right. And it's quite right. Well, Tony Blair's arguing that education now is much better than it was 25 years ago. And his marker is that nearly 60% go to university. But surely, Kenneth Baker, education is about more than just academic Absolutely. exams. Well, and, and, and we have really, we've really talked down trades and skills in this country, totally. haven't we? Absolutely, totally. And that's why for the last 12 years I've been setting up university technical colleges. We have 47 of these colleges now with nearly 20,000 students. And they don't have to do the national curriculum which Michael Gove <coughs> imposed upon the country. The national curriculum in all schools is now just eight subjects. Two exams in English, one in maths, three in science, one in a foreign language and either history or geography. Doesn't it sound sensible? It's a grammar school curriculum. And this was imposed. Mm. And as a result, we've done nothing for those two million disadvantaged students over the last 12 years. If you look at disadvantaged children in 2010 and look at them, it's the same number, about two million. And so this great experiment that somehow they'd bubble up has not happened. And so the only way that we're going to be a successful country is actually to have better vocational skill training in Good. our Well, schools. I'm delighted to hear totally, that. Totally, absolutely. I'm delighted I, to hear example, that. For example, I want all 11-year-olds to be starting with computing at 11. Um, because they, uh, of what the government did uh, some years ago in abolishing a GSC, uh, there's been 40% less teaching of computing in schools since, since 2016. Isn't that mad? That's, that, no, we that live is, in a digital age. No, that, that, no, that is extra, no, and totally I, digital I age. did acknowledge, I thought Blair was perhaps right about that point. Final thought on this. If we're now leaving school at 18 as opposed to 16, we need some sort of end of school exam, don't we? Are we, yes. are we, are we thinking the sort of baccalaureate model, yes, you back, need... back to the school cert, perhaps? I don't know. I mean, you need I mean, something like a, a, a tech back. This is what I favour. I would yeah. like to see a tech back, which includes technical and academic subjects as well. Mm. Now, the point about this is that now 93% go on uh, to 18. Yeah. Now, many of them leave college with no school, no employability talent at all. They, no, they're not being taught about business. And what business is saying to them, we want you, have you had any experience of working in a team? No. Have you engaged in serious problem solving? No. Have you made things with your hands and fixed things? No. Are you creative, imaginative? No. Do, are you capable of critical thinking? Now, we have to therefore change the curriculum. It's not just the exams, Nigel, I'm saying. Yeah. You have to change the curriculum. Now, there have been six reports, of which Blair's is the last, saying that the present national curriculum, which is these eight academic subjects, are not fit for purpose. And so it should, they should come down to five, five subjects only in test, Maths, English, two science and data skills. And then each school should decide what else they want to do. Okay, possibly business studies, possibly some of the cultural subjects. All these have dropped in the last 12 years. Design and technology have dropped by 80% Yeah, schools. I saw that. And not dance, drama, music, all the things wanted by the entertainment industry, which is going through a boom at the moment now, yeah. with streaming and Netflix, 
We've got dropped a lot to by talk. You know, we've got a lot and so to talk I'm, about. What here. I would say to the two people trying to be the next prime minister, you've got to accept the fact that you should engage in major educational reform. It's not tinkering. It's not playing around with new ideas like more yeah. grammar schools or anything like that. Concentrate on technical schools. Concentrate on technical education, because that's where your growth is going to come from. Your productivity growth is going to come. You can't have growth in an economy, <coughs> Nigel, you know this, unless you have skilled workers to fill it. And we now have got a massive, massive number of unfilled vacancies for data analysts, mm. for software well, engineers, I have to say. and all the rest of